Hello! Let's do an art project based on one of my favorite book illustrations, The Rainbow Fish. The art in this book is very special because the illustrator used watercolor paints and lots of colors to paint the rainbow fish. And I think it would be very fun if we made our own picture of the rainbow fish using lots of colors too. I will be using watercolor paints to paint my fish, but you can use anything you want to draw or color with, like crayons, markers, or colored pencils. I like to start my drawings with a regular pencil, just in case if I mess up, I can erase it. To start, let's draw a big curved line that kind of looks like the top of half of a circle. Then, let's draw another big curved line on the bottom that kind of looks like the mouth of a happy face. Make sure to leave a little bit of space on the side because later, that's where we are going to draw the tail. For my fish's tail, I will be drawing a line going up from the top of the opening and another line going down from the bottom of the opening. Then I will connect the two lines with another slightly curved line to make the shape of the tail. You can make your tail as big or as small as you would like. At this point, my drawing kind of looks like a goldfish cracker, so let's add some details. Next, I will be adding fins to my rainbow fish. I'm going to draw one big long fin at the top and three smaller fins on the bottom. After we finish drawing our fins, let's add a mouth to our rainbow fish. I will be drawing lips on my rainbow fish, but you can just use a regular little curved line to draw a simple smile if you want. For now, I am not going to worry about drawing over the lines that I already drew because I can erase any mistakes later. Now I am going to draw the line that separates the fish's face from its body. I will be drawing kind of a little bit of a bumpy line to make it look like there's scales. You can just draw a regular curved line if you want. Next, let's draw a circle for the eye with a smaller circle inside for the pupil. I'm going to be adding a couple small details to my fish's face like a little eyebrow and a little dimple to make my fish look like it's smiling really happy. Now it's time to draw the scales. This can kind of be the hard part, but if we go really slow and take our time with it, it can be really fun. Your scales can be as big or as small as you want them to be. I'm going to draw my scales kind of big. The way I'm going to draw my scales is by drawing long half circles to kind of look like they are overlapping each other. After you're finished drawing all your scales, now you can start coloring. But before I start coloring my picture, I'm going to use a black pen to go over all my lines. You can do this step with me if you want by using any black coloring tool that you have. But if you are using paints like me, just don't use a black marker because the colors may bleed together, which is why I am using a pen. Now that I have finished outlining all my lines with black pen, I'm going to just take an eraser over the drawing really quick just to erase some of the pencil lines that I don't want to see anymore. And now it's time to paint or color. You can use any colors you want, but I am going to start with blue to color in the face and some of the fins and scales. similar technique that the real rainbow fish was painted in, where some of the paint colors go outside of the lines on purpose. But if you are using crayons or colored pencils or markers, 
you might want to stay inside the lines, which is also really fun too. Now that I'm done with the blue, I'm going to switch colors to purple to continue filling in some of the scales and the fins. color I'm going to paint with is pink. Some of my colors are blending together since I am coloring outside the lines on purpose, but I really like the way it looks for my rainbow fish drawing. Now I am going to use green to continue coloring in some of the scales. to leave a couple of the scales blank for the very end so later I can paint them using a silver paint to make them look shiny and sparkly. If you have silver paint or silver marker or even glitter you can make shiny silvery scales too or if you just want your fish to have really colorful scales with no silver or glitter that would also be really pretty. Before I finish coloring in the last of the scales I want to let my paint dry a little bit, so I will be moving on and coloring the lips yellow. Now that some of my paint has dried a little bit, I am going to use my silver paint to color in the rest of the scales. Now that our fishes are all colored in, we can be done now if we want, or we can color in the background. I'm going to color my background blue like water. Just for fun, I'm going to stay away from the edges of my paper and just paint a blue circle around my fish so that the edges of my paper are still white just because I like the way that looks. Just for a finishing touch, I'm going to use a white paint pen to draw some bubbles. And now we are done and we painted a rainbow fish. This is what mine looks like. What does yours look like? Thank you so much for learning with me and creating with me. See you next time.